So the testing and the corrections for the ICD and the Houston. Well, we're going to take an M to start with, always. I love winning M. Thank you very much, Laura. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a point called McBurney's point. Now, belly button, hip bone, halfway between the two is McBurney's point. So on the right hand side, the McBurney's point is for the iliocecal valve. If I find the McBurney's point on the left hand side, that's for the Houston, for the rings of Houston. Let's start with the iliocecal valve. So belly button, hip bone, halfway between the two. And we're going to do two tests and check the priority on this right hand side. First of all, I've got my fist thus. You can, I tend to use fingers in clinic. I've never been able to use my fist, so lots of hypermobility, it doesn't feel that good for me. But, but we're going to teach you with the fist because that's best practice um, because it's better for your joints. So, with a fist, I'm going in with lymphatic pressure and I'm pressing down and up towards Laura's left shoulder. So in and up, in and up, like this. And it's firm. And you can often feel something, you can feel the valves underneath, squelching. They can, if, if it's relevant, if they're tight and solid. And it can be sore all the time so as well. Sore. Yeah, it can be, particularly the first ICD fix I've ever had. Like for us now, we go, oh yeah, that's fine. So go in gently for the mm -hmm. first time that you're doing it and feel for your client, with mm -hmm. permission, how does this feel? Now, what I'm doing when I'm testing down and up towards the shoulder is, is the iliocecal valve stuck open? So let's check against the in, holding out. And that's not changing the indicator, so her iliocecal valve is not stuck open. So now what I'm going to do is the second test. If that had gone off, then I would, yes, your iliocecal valve is open, let's see if it's priority, but it's not. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the position of my push down towards her left hip. So I've gone up towards her left shoulder and now I'm going down towards her left hip. And this is checking, is the iliocecal valve closed? Ooh, that felt like literally that felt like bubbles popping underneath my hand. And that switched off the indicator muscle. So yes, the iliocecal valve is closed and stuck closed in a way that the body doesn't want it closed. So let's check for priority. So of course we're on a, um, an unlocking indicator muscle and, if it, and that's now switching back on so it's relevant, so it is priority. So I know I've got a closed iliocecal valve that wants working on. Now I'm gonna check for the Houston valve. Rings of Houston. Hip bone, belly button, halfway in between McBurney's point. Now, I'm only gonna go in one direction here. So for iliocecal valve and Houston, it's three tests. Iliocecal valve open, iliocecal valve closed, Houston valve function, malfunction, yeah. And what we're doing is we're going down and up towards the opposite shoulder, like the iliocecal valve open, but this time on the other side of the body. So you can come round to do that. I tend to do that in clinic, but just, I might just check your indicator muscle here, because I want to not come round because you won't see it. I'm pushing down and in and towards up towards that shoulder. And that's holding, so that's not relevant. So her Houston valve is not involved here. It does feel tender when she does the test, but that could be because the Houston, the, the iliocecal valve is closed and it's having a knock-on effect to the Houston valve. Yes. Now, her iliocecal valve is a priority in this test today, in this moment. If it's not a priority in clinic, I don't do the ICD. Yeah. Because it's not the iliocecal valve that's causing their um, issues. The iliocecal valve, it could be the end of the chain. And we must work in priority. So what am I gonna do if it's not priority? Well, I know that triangle of health, this is going to be related to something else. It could be her blood sugars. So I'd be checking the lats. It could be stress. So I'd be checking her sartorius or the shortcut test for the adrenal. It could be female hormones for all the reasons that we've told you about. So I might check for her circulation, sex over energy or CV under energy. I'm not gonna fix the iliocecal valve if it's not a priority because it won't hold and you're just putting the 
avoid through unnecessary pain. This is a proper, you know, huge structured manipulation here. I'm not saying that for you to be scared of it, I'm saying it because what's magical is when you fix someone's adrenals mm. and their iliac sequel valve goes back in. I've often had a fix with the neck. Yes. Or the jaw. Yes. That will correct the yes. iliac sequel valve. TMJ, blood neck, sugars, stomach, stomach, yeah, any of the digestive areas, if they're coming in with bad neck, it might be the neck that puts it back in. It could be their adrenals, it could be their blood sugars. Go be a detective, go find out what's the priority because that's much more well. Because then I can say, yeah, 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 Laura, you're right, yes, yeah. Well, the thing is, you're still not eating protein at every meal. So for us to get this, and your lats are showing the priority, for example. This is really, really illustrative. So now we're working on those lats. Now you have this informed choice to go away and go, if I don't want this bowel pain, I'm going to work on my blood sugars. Just doing the eosequel valve because it's showing that it's not priority. It's not giving her that information and it's actually putting the body through a fix it doesn't want. Priority is the body is saying, I want you to fix this now. So oftentimes I would do the lats or the adrenals or the neck or the TMJ, whatever's come up, then I go back and check the ileocecal valve. And if it's not fixed it up, maybe now it's a priority. Mm -hmm. That's how we work. We always work in priority. But let's go back to this. So I've got this unlocking indicator muscle and I'm going to open up her feet because I'm putting it in fours lock because I don't want to keep pushing on that because A, that's painful and B, that's actually the correction. So now I could look at nutrition. What did I just say? Okay, let's have a little look and see. I'm going to get two so that she's not attached to which one I'm testing because we need clear minds on that and it's not that one. How lovely, good stuff. Um, anything else? Oh, I know. Oh, we're all glued. <laughs> oh, oh, what's on the menu? <laughs> all right, let's have a little look at a few. No, not L glute for this right now. Ah, oh, priority. Yes, by MDT. Oh, lovely. We love it. So a bit of BioMDT and a bit of Proactizine. Lovely. Anything else? So do we need them more? No. Beautiful. It's not a so I don't have to drill down into emotion. Could do. But now I'm going to do the correction. So, the correction that are on your uh, notes. Let me just have a look. Okay, so I'm going to be rubbing the neurolymphatics for the iliacus, the levator scapula, the PMC, the quads and fascia lata. The lows. Ooh. So I'm just going to start. Oh, the hamstrings. I need to add that into the notes. Can you remember hamstrings? No. I'm starting on those hamstrings. Oh, it's lovely. So if it's painful, remember we can ESR. Oh, hold on to the end of the meridian. Hold on to the end of the meridians. You could also have done over and under energy if you wanted to, to see if small or large intestine were over or under, but just doing this as an ICV fix, which you can do on its own. Okay. I can feel that clearing. <laughs> Beautiful. sign from my client when I was working <laughs> over her pain threshold. Oh, it's tickling. Okay, well, let's hold it. <laughs> oh, there like we go. A nerve tickle. There it is. <sighs> I've had a lovely size sheath, had a lovely size. So now we've got the fascia lata and I'm going to ask, is it what's going up? Or coming down? It's fine. Both ways? Yes. I would always come round the bed to do the other side of the fascia lata because I don't want to bend wrist, but for the sake of this demonstration, we're not. Mm. Up or down? Good. Both good, that's not bad, is it? It's much more kind of straightforward. Definitely. <laughs> Gonna rub the iliacus points. And you 
have got all of these points written, uh, done on the anatomical drawings, so you don't have to remember them, you can just follow the diagram. Okay, I'm going to come around to the small intestine. No, so I didn't elevate this page. You are quite low for me. That's fine. <coughs> Anyone looking at this is bad practice. So I remember the back points, but the small intestine of the quad. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to do spinal reflex at T12. Oh, yeah. Which is also a spinal reflex point for the agreement. It's no. It's not that one. Do we love our walk lines together? <laughs> I do. Okay, it's coming down to the PNC. I'm going to move away to the face now. Grims, grims, grims. Right, so I'm going to the vagus nerves, so that point up in here. Look how much she's suffering for you. I love kinesiology pain. You're the weirdo. Apart from <laughs> when we used to do your jaw, then you just grab my hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Yeah. <laughs> to do is I'm going to put that ileocecal valve back in so we were close now as I alluded to the correction is I'm going to push it down and the way that it wants that 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 let me sorry let's start that again when I pushed it down and towards the left hip that challenge switched switched off the indicator we need that challenge to keep the indicator muscle switched on so I've got to do more of that so I'm going to be pushing my knuckles down and towards that left hip. So I'm holding. And encouraging your client to breathe through the fix. And let them know that it will ease because when you first go in, it can be a bit sharp. So we're looking for the ease. That felt like it moved a bit, so now I'm going in a bit harder. Oh, how's that for you? Yeah, it can come in waves. <sighs> lots of energy shifts for the iliocecal valve correction. Lots and lots and lots. Beautiful. Feels completely different under my hand. Just as Laura said, there it is. I felt it go and actually change. Laura's used to, you could hear it go back in. It was amazing. Oh, happy days. Oh, yeah, yeah. I miss those days. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is finish off by rubbing up the neck here. Oh, getting the neck involved. And in clinic, would I be throwing in a cheeky TMJ? Yes, I would. <laughs> My body is not just like somebody shifted. Lovely. Ooh. Okay, that's the ICD correction. Let's take away the nutrition. I'm going to recheck. So, indicator muscle in the clear. Lovely, still switching on. Best practice. Let's see if it's still turning off. Yes, it is. Iliocecal valve one way, still holding. I'm always going to check just in case it's now pinging the other way. And now the way that was turning off and now that's holding lovely recheck houston so i'm coming i should end down in that way to try this indicator muscle lovely icd done so correcting the closed iliocecal valve has corrected the malfunction yes. houston valve yes so yeah, that's what you want wasn't it yeah. oh yeah i forgot that da -da -da. lovely amazing so that is the iliocecal valve i'm just going to give her a bit of an 